Hey guys and welcome to PrimaPrep.com. Today we got another safety razor review for you. We're going to be going over the Mercure 1904 Classic Safety Razor. And if you look at it, it definitely looks like it was, you know, would be used by some old guy in the early 1900s movie or something like that. Definitely would have been used by your grandpa and great grandpa, no doubt about that. And when you use it, you start seeing everything in black and white. It just happens. Don't ask me why. All right, so it is a chrome finished open cum safety razor um, with a good amount of weight to it. Let's start off and going over the specs. It weighs 2.3 ounces, uh, slightly handle heavy, and the balance point is like a good half an inch uh, from the, the top of the grip right there, which I like it towards the top of the grip, but it's not that far below that it would bother me. Uh, the grip is, it has six sides to it, so it's a hexagonal shape, and although it does have diagonal grooves on each side of the hexagon, they don't provide too much grip. Um, for me, when I'm holding onto it, I'm used to a circular handle, so it's it's kind of like, where do I hold it? Should I have my thumb on the flat part? Should I have my thumb on the on one of the corners? And it just kind of doesn't feel the most comfortable to me, uh, whereas other people online talk about how it just fits in their hand perfectly and their hands just know exactly where to go. Uh, that's just my opinion. I can't. I, I seem like I can't find a good spot to hold it. It doesn't feel right holding on the flat part. It kind of feels weird holding it on the corner. Uh, same with my pointer fingers. So overall, it's just, um, uh, I'm just not used to it. Uh, I've been using it for a couple months, um, and, uh, and I'm sure I will get used to it, but it's just going to take some time. And the grip overall is not the best. Uh, the bottom doesn't have a knob that protrudes that far, and it's kind of slick, and the overall, even the diagonal grooves on each side are are kind of slick, so it doesn't provide the best grip. I could see it slipping out. hasn't slipped, slipped out, but I just could see having potential problems with that. Uh, let's talk about the length. So it does come in at 3.2 inches. Um, I'm not sure if I talked about the weight. It does come in at 2.3 ounces, and it comes in at 3.2 inches from head to toe, which is on the shorter side, but... That's okay because it does have a good amount of weight to it for how short it is compared to other safety razors. Um, the aggressiveness um, kind of balances each other out, and let me explain what I'm talking about. If you put a blade in there, and I will in a second, uh, there's very little blade gap. But open comb does have a tendency to be more aggressive because a lot of the blade blade's edge is exposed to the skin. So a smaller blade gap and a large wide combs also exposing a lot of the blade to your skin kind of balances each other out. So a lot of people say open comes really aggressive, but obviously a smaller blade gap is less aggressive. So when I'm using this, I feel like it shaves like uh, a 5 out of 10 on my aggressiveness scale, which is, you know, mild. Um, I do get a very close shave because of this open comb. It's a different feel. It's a different type of aggressive. It's uh, different than having a big blade, uh, blade gap. Uh, I think a bigger blade gap, you really notice a lot of that blade hitting your skin. Whereas open comb, it's a different type of feel, but you definitely feel how close of a, of a cut that you're getting which is good, which I do really like about the safety razor. So as you can see, you know, there's very minimal blade gap, but if you look at those big combs, a lot of that, your um, skin is still, is still coming in contact with that blade's edge, which is, which provides a pretty, pretty darn close shave. And I'm getting used to it. I know it's hard for me to hold it, but I'm getting used to it. And I'm going to give it a lot, um, a lot more shaves because I do feel that difference and it feels really good. So the price point uh, is pretty good. It's in the mid 20s right now, uh, 25 bucks or so. And that's pretty good, pretty good deal for what you get with the Mercure 1904. 
So if you want to, you know, feel really cool, if you want to look like your grandpa while you're shaving and see in black and white, I would highly recommend trying out the Mercure 1904 Classic. Um, if you're a beginner, maybe you should try using a blade that's not so sharp, maybe not like a feather, because of how open this comb really is. Uh, the comb is a lot more open than most of the Parker uh, open comb safety razors that I have. Um, it is also good for people with a thick beard, because although it doesn't have a big blade gap, the hairs don't get stuck in there. They kind of get stuck in between the comb, but that's super easy to wash out compared to washing hairs in between a blade gap out of the safety razor. So overall, you can cut through a forest, uh, it's a close shave, um, the handle I'm getting used to, but I definitely get a good shave from it and it can go after like a seven day stubble without any trouble. Uh, so I highly recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching my review guys. Uh, if you want more information on male grooming, head over to primandprep.com to check out more safety razor reviews and male grooming tips overall. And if you have a question or want to leave a comment, shoot it down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching guys.